If you see what we can see, then adventure it's for all of us. There's a place that we should be. Come along, come along, cause it's high time we can lose. Come and dress. We got any fresh blades for the multi? Ah, we had a delivery um, yesterday. So it's come in the post from Amazon, and it was a pack of two multi blades, and with a little note. Well done on your efforts on those cold days, especially when you're feeling unwell. And that's from Mr. Royal. So thank you so much. So they are going to come in very handy today, cutting out these web frames. Damn. If Simon can open the packet. <laughs> that's why I hate new things. I just end up going like this full destruction mode on it. So on this this piece here is a bit rotty here, so I'm just gonna inspect what's behind it because usually it's just on the surface. But so if we just take like a so we just begun the, the scarf here, but it's actually still rotten. So we have to come down a bit further, and then we'll see how she looks on the inside. Better, bro. Oh, Jim. Yeah. You've got some decent material here for your, um, your, um, your little plaque things. It's kind of hard to find some some good material, you know, because the amount we've cut up and put it into sections is all full of like cracks and rot and stuff, but this one should be okay. <clears throat> so that's what Simon's talking about with my plaques. If you've seen the video that we've done uh, with us going to plant trees, we decided to make these limited edition souvenirs. Um, so you can actually get copper nail and a bit of the boat. Um, but every one of these that we sell, you won't become a lord or a lady, but we will plant a tree on your behalf, as well as you getting to have a bit of a historic boat. So. The link to these are down below. They're on our website for sale. They are very limited <laughs> as we don't get that many copper nails. So if there's none in stock, keep an eye out because they will be coming back on. Um, but I've got a pot of copper nails here. So we, what we do is we take these copper nails home, clean them up and make them nice and pretty for you guys. Wiggle, is that one like? Can you get your hands on that one? So, just try to get that piece of like it's like a bit of a packer, but it's a bit stuck. So after we expose the very tops of the frames because we removed the deck, this one here from the inside is absolutely amazing, but the very top of it is a bit poorly and 
as we keep saying, it's the only chance we're going to get to change them, so and it'll make our life a lot easier when the boom shelf comes down. So, just got to chop this one out. So, as per usual, these these nails are like go all the way through the outside. We've got a robe on the inside, so what we do is get our deadly little cutter. The reason we use this one is because it cuts through wood and the copper. Because if you just use a normal cutting disc, that doesn't go through the wood. So we need something a bit, a bit more angry. I call it the angry, angry cutting disc. So. So now the heads are removed, we can now knock them all the way out. And then it saves me having to cut through them this way. And then as well, we've got our guidance where, where, where the new nail has got to come through from the outside. So what's always awkward because I've cut it on a bit of an angle to the punch drives to slide off. So we'll start it on the angle. Great when you buy cheapo punches in it. <laughs> oh dear. It's gonna be one of them days, isn't it? <laughs> oh look luckily it's only these two today, so. Just like the hailstone, as per usual, the boat's open. So we're going to have to uh, pause, cover up for a bit. Um, remember there's a big hole there below the sheet, so... Right up. Let's have a brew then instead, eh? Why can't we have an inside job like normal people, hey eh, Jim? <laughs> The second you opened the roof up, it was glorious sunshine this morning. And the second you opened the roof, yeah, God just goes, ha ha, let's hail Ooh. all over you. <laughs> so I may as well just make the wait, make the most of my time and do some build cleaning. Yeah, you'd be able to build rat, as um, Doug would say. Yeah. Hey, Gemma is the is the actual official build rat <laughs> of YouTube, aren't <laughs> Build diving. <laughs> Right, so the three frames are in now, so we've just got to nail them. I feel sorry for Simon being outside in this weather. It is freezing and the wind is just awful. And he hasn't even got a big waterproof coat today. <laughs> Bless him.
getting closer. Wear the life jacket, buoyancy aid, sorry. It's not because there's too much water, it's absolutely freezing. Well, I've got my little, um, my little heated jacket on. Well, this big insula insulation insert, it's got a multi roll. Good, <laughs> good body warmer. Because someone forgot the big coat today. Not the big coat. <laughs> Okay, so I recommend before it starts raining again, let's get the top of them frames cut off and let's get it resheated. Yeah, I remember we could do the web. Web frame next. Stop dropping things in my village. Solid that. <laughs> oh. People wonder why I don't like walking around on the deck. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to go far, is it? It's far. Okay, I came out to be camera woman, but it's too cold, so bye, Si. <laughs> All right, so it's now time for the web frame. But as I was looking at the web frame and cutting the web frame, I actually noticed in a stringer where there was a knot and the knot has fell out. Gemma's probably pulling her face now because she didn't know I prepared a piece of wood for this. So, see here, this is where those big, big metal sort of like gun supports were, which was hiding there, so we didn't actually see it. So, there's always been a knot there, but the way I see it, now we've seen it, if we, put, if we double this stringer up here, then it'll future proof, run it, and when we get lifted, a bit more strength. So it's obviously been like that for like 80 years. Yeah. And it's never caused an issue ever. But Mr. Over like engineered oh no, we've, everything. We've now seen it. We've seen it. So if you see it, sort it. Ooh, that's a good good saying. See right, it, so. say it, fix it. Too. Yeah, right. So we're just gonna wedge a piece of wood in. And then I probably won't bolt it up today, but if we get it in position before the web frame goes in, then I can bolt it up. Do you think like you size you want a bit excessive for that little tiny knot? Bigger the better, darling, partner. That's what she said. Your wood has to be bigger. Does your wood have to be bigger than the hole? That's what she said, but I don't know. <laughs> bigger than the gap. So if I just leave it there, because obviously when the web frame goes in, we can't actually get them in so I'd rather do it now and then we know it's super secure okay so that's in there ready to be fixed when yeah we get a minute okay so what I need to do now is just sand make sure these scarves are, are um, nice and true and then once they are then we'll um, bring the pre-steamed web over we'll mark it we'll cut that and then we'll fit it Okay, so now that the paint is all dry, time to get this knee out and the last web frame. Yay! Talk about dry paint. It was painted like, what, 12 hours ago, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Is it yeah, dry? So yeah, I'm scared of damaging it, but it is what it is. Cool. Uh, Maybe we 
we should have took this off yesterday before I cleaned all the bilge. No. Oh. <laughs> Through the triangle window. <laughs> Some nails. What I love about these knees is when you take them off, they look absolutely wrecked and that they wouldn't possibly ever be able to come back to life. But just with a little hammer and a little grind and a little clean up, it's amazing what they turn into. So let's see what we can do with this last one. I'm not really a lover of using the Terraco. But just for a little test, should we see which is best and easiest? So I've just done this side with the terracum. Let's do this side the way I usually do it with the grinder and see which one gets the best results. So two totally different finishes so this side are done with the grinder with the flappy wheel and this side with the terraco this has come off with the grinding wheel a lot smoother and a lot clearer the terraco seems to have made it a bit more pitted so i think i'm going to stick to how i've always done it but it's always good to test new things so this is with the grinder And then this side's with the Terraco. Stick with the grinder. So we're only installing this little sister because of this knot here, which the original builders obviously didn't really inspect the wood that well, but so it goes, I've noticed it a lot throughout the boat. The grain's all mismatched um, early on in the build. A lot of people were saying, oh, the grain has to be perfect this way. And it has to be that way. Absolutely no faults, but it goes to show, doesn't it? That in the early days, they weren't that fussed. Piece of wood, fitted, beautiful. And it yeah. also goes to show it's lasted 80 and it, years. And it survived, so. So we're just gonna put a little, a little doubler on it and it'll be fine, it'll be good. Oh, the thing she didn't get was me nuts. Simon's got no nuts. So it's actually quite exciting. This is actually the last web frame we're going to be putting in. We've got two more frames after this, but it's the last web frame. So Jim was just mixing up some epoxy now. 
<laughs> Reese's. Some Reese's. So I've some... just had a Reese's egg with my dinner. Well, like a like a cream egg. Like style. a cream egg, but like Reese's, and it was really nice. I've not had a Reese's for ages. Cool. I think I think you feel, probably feel better for a day not having them. Got a bit more energy now. <laughs> Right, so yeah, the web frame now goes right next to the gun mounts. Do this one on your own. Looks like it! Yeah, not with the camera on. They're not the one behind the camera. Camera person. Right, um, okay. Yeah, just make sure the bottom's in check. So just going to address something uh, we've had a lot of comments about um, a couple of videos ago was heating uh, the video when it was absolutely frozen around the boat and stuff and everyone's like you need to get a diesel heater, you need to get a camper heater, you need to get this, you need to get that. Just that you know we don't, um, we do have full central heating on the boat which is run by diesel um, and upstairs is toasty. The only reason that it's cold in this bow area is because when we removed this wall, we lost the radiator. So we're only running on one small radiator in this bow area. Now it's pointless us investing money into a, a, a diesel heater because we're onto the last two frames. <laughs> so this area is done after, you know, pretty much nearly finished. Couple of days more work doing the floor and stuff, and then we'll be moving on. So, pointless. Also, um, diesel heaters, they still require a flue outside. So, I don't want to be putting a hole in the boat <laughs> to flue a heater that we don't need. And I also, I wouldn't want to take a window out to put the exhaust out the window because then you're going to let more cold air in than what you're going to generate the heat. So, I know you are all just worried about us working in the cold, but when we go upstairs, we're like, woo! <laughs> Toasty, so we are good. So we didn't put the knee on this frame because there's no deck to tie it to. So we still need to put the knee on there. And then we've got quite a lot of copper nails to do in all the web frames. But apart from that, all the whole woodwork is finished in the bow area. Apart from the sole booms, the sole, we're working the way up now, the beam shelf, the deck beams, the deck beams, <laughs> well, the, you the know. actual deck, then the covering, <laughs> which we're going to be fiberglass in for now. But all the web frames, stringers, and frames are done. Yes. So yeah. that and yeah. remember when. Um, when we started the port side. Oh, I think you won this, didn't you? Simon's I've been waiting for this, you know, all, all day. I was outside before with, with my dolly thinking. It's coming. It's coming there, isn't so, it? <laughs> Simon said two months. Yeah. I said the end of January. And it is, I want to get, have you got a phone just to prove the date to people? No, I don't even know where mine is. It is the 19th of January. Look. The 19th. So, we are on target. Well, we're above target date. Yeah. Because by the end of January, all the floors should yes. be done as well. I think that's what I meant. 
Did I? I don't know. So when we finished all the frames and everything on the starboard side, yeah. we had a celebratory whiskey frame. Yeah. So I think it's only fair we did the same for the port yeah. side. But we had to get a taxi home, didn't we? we had that. <laughs> no, we didn't. Simon is driving. I, so. I don't want to have any because it's basically as soon as we've, we've turned the camera off, we're we're off home. We're off home. Yeah, you know so, so so I think Gemma should. Because oh, I'm not a big whiskey drinker. Though. Yeah, but she was so cheerful on the way home last time. So I said, <laughs> <laughs> I floated out of here last yeah. time after that whiskey. So yeah, we've got another whiskey frame basically. That was that one. Yes. It's another milestone. Yes. And um, we will have some plants because I can smell it from here, though. I know, it's lethal in it. Um, Hold on. Last time we never gave the boat any. Oh, you're supposed to give the boat some? I don't need to spill it on my boat. <laughs> Come on. In the bilge. Well done. Are you meant to say anything like any any special ritual like you meant to say? No. You meant to go, good girl, last another 80 years, please. <laughs> There you go, Sorinda's had her share. Yeah. And I've got my share of a cup of tea. Cup of tea. Yeah. So, the hard stuff. <laughs> thank you all again yeah. so much for your support. Uh, it it just it means so much. We couldn't do it without everyone. You know, everyone who just watches, um, you know, our Patreon members, people who send us donations. Yeah. You are all absolutely fabulous, and this project wouldn't be as far along no it, chance. without I know, I everyone. Know other YouTubers are always going, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. But the, the, everybody genuinely means it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Without, without your viewers, yeah. you'll be we're nothing. screwed. Um, so... Yeah, we're nothing. Because <laughs> you guys would prop us up. Yes. You know? So, um, <laughs> as I said, I showed you these frames before. These are very, very limited because I've got, like not many copper nails <laughs> to put on them so these ones that we've took out today if there is any of these frames left in our store mm, just have a look they will it'll be them them nails yeah uh, the sizes will vary depending on the mm. availability that we have we try and use the most interesting nails first don't we <laughs> yes so they might get smaller and smaller and smaller as time yeah. goes on mm. because we've got quite a few small ones but i like to put big chunky ones on but obviously they're very limited mm. But thank you all so much for support. Yeah, cheers, guys. I don't so, know that I'm going to be able to speak after I've drank this. So, yeah. <laughs> so hope, hopefully next time, when Gemma stops the coronavirus, <laughs> we'll be doing the deck beams. No, we won't. We're doing the soul beams. And then that's this room. Yeah. Done. Yeah. So God knows what's coming next, but I hope you are all along for the ride with yeah. us. <laughs> See you okay. next week. See you later, guys. Bye. See you later. Bye bye bye. Oh. <laughs> That's the stuff. Tetley. <laughs> God, that's strong. <laughs> Woo! Right, time to go home. Thank you all so much for watching. Please consider subscribing if you haven't done already, as it really helps the channel out. See you all next week.